Welcome to Fact Check, where I explore myths and urban legends from pop culture and attempt to uncover what really happened. In today's Fact Check, we're going to take a look at the urban legend regarding Martin Scorsese's 1976 film, Taxi Driver. In 2009, Quentin Tarantino sat down with Sky Movies to film some promotional material for his recently released movie, Inglorious Bastards. He filmed several short segments, including one of him listing his favourite movies released between 1992, when he first became a director, to 2009. He also filmed several short intros to films that were currently playing on Sky Movies. In one of these segments, Quentin brings up a notorious Hollywood rumour that persisted for several decades. That in 1976, Martin Scorsese had once planned to murder a studio executive that was threatening to cut crucial scenes from his film. The legend goes that Scorsese stayed up all night drinking, getting drunk with a loaded gun. And his purpose was in the morning he was going to shoot the executive at Columbia for making him cut his masterpiece. And it turned out to be a vigil all night as Scorsese sat there with a loaded gun in his lap and uh, some of his fellow filmmakers and friends came and talked to him and com commiserated with him and tried to talk him out of it. And apparently this lasted all night long. Uh, I've heard stories that literally uh, all of them grew up that night. And the idea that came to him was just to desaturate the color in the final shootout by two degrees, turning what was candy apple blood red into a more burgundy blood. He did that in lieu of killing a man, and the film got its R. And that's a taxi driver uncut as you see today. Again, Mr. Scorsese, if none of this has happened, I apologize. I am simply relating uh, legend. Uh, but I can honestly say as an artist, if it's not true, I wish it were. There may be some truth to Tarantino's story. In the 1998 book, Easy Riders Raging Bulls, Peter Bizkind goes into great detail about the story. In fact, it's likely where Tarantino first heard the rumour. Tarantino is a huge fan of Bizkind, so much so that he even has a personal endorsement on the back of Bizkind's other book, Down and Dirty Pictures. According to Bizkind, Scorsese spent nearly every waking moment editing Taxi Driver, and was often seen knocking back Dom Perignon and popping lewds in the editing booth. He was also known to fly off the handle at the slightest criticism of the film. In Bizkind's more detailed version of the story, he names the producer as Stanley Jaff, executive VP of Worldwide Production at Columbia Pictures at the time. After Jaff told him to cut the movie, Scorsese called his friends for an emergency meeting. Fellow directors John Milius, Steven Spielberg and Brian De Palma all headed around to Scorsese's house on Mulholland, where Scorsese was ranting, raving and smashing glasses against the wall, and by all accounts, had to be physically restrained to stop him from hurting himself and others. He then started to tell the group a story about an actor who'd once pulled out a gun in the middle of an audition and started firing blanks at the executives because they didn't appreciate art, and hinted darkly that he wanted to do the same to Stanley Jaff. Well, I say hinted, but really he just straight up said that he was going to get a gun and shoot Stanley Jaff. So... But, I should point out that Steven Spielberg, who related the story to Bizkind, did say that he didn't think Scorsese was really serious about actually murdering him. And he thought Scorsese was most likely just venting his rage. Nevertheless, the rest of the version of the story is true. After desaturating the film colour, something he'd be wanting to try out for a while anyway, and removing a few frames of explicit violence, his film was awarded an R rating, not an X, and the rest is history. We can rate this legend partially true.